Hey guys, I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin. Today we're taking a look at Windows 10 Mobile Build 14267. Now, it is the first Redstone build, so that means that a lot of people are waiting for it. You know, for a long time, we didn't see any new features, right? The last six builds or so, seven builds, have been uh, cumulative updates. 105.86, just updates to the RTM build. So it's all it's all been about bug fixes, and nothing's really been about new features. So this is actually pretty exciting. Now, this build is only available on Windows 10 mobile devices. So, if you got a Xiaomi Mi 4, a Lumia 550, I got a Lumia 550 right here, um, a 950 and 950 XL, you're supported. Otherwise, you can't get this build. You're just not eligible. Now, they did say this ahead of time. No one should be surprised right now. But, you know, it makes my life a little bit easier because I don't have to update 12 phones when, when there's a new build. But um, so we're going we're gonna, to we'll just look at the 950 here. Um, the first new feature that we have is a feature that was available in Windows Phone 8.1. And that's a little music icon up here that allows you to detect a song. If we take a look at the Windows Phone 8.1 version of Cortana, we see that. OK, so the next feature that we're going to have here um, was also a feature of 8.1, and that is that WordFlow works in the browser, all right? Now, this is something that they took away. A lot of people were upset um, without, I mean, understandably upset. So now you can use the swipe keyboard in the browser, okay? So that's, I mean, it's not a bad thing that they're bringing these things back, okay? I know a lot of people are going to say, hey, these things were in 8.1. You're not doing anything new, and to be fair, it means they're listening to feedback, and that's a really good thing. Another thing that's new is that you can open in private tabs more easily in Edge. All right, so we go to our pages here, our tabs, and right down here, this little icon allows you to open a new private window. All right, so that makes things a little better, bringing things a little more on parity with the desktop version. Personally, I would like it if they would allow you to mark up the web and, which was one of the big features of Edge, but it never came to mobile, which every mobile device is a touchscreen, so it makes sense. All right. There's also messaging and Skype improvements. All right. And this is a big deal, right? A lot of these are just common sense features that we would all like to see, right? And, right, the, the messaging app, you can now send a photo through Skype. Okay. That was something you couldn't do before. And it was a really odd thing because obviously Skype supports message <laughs> supports photos but the messaging app didn't right and they really have needed to do some work on this messaging app it doesn't support a lot of skype features and it acts poorly sometimes i was just having a conversation with someone earlier today um, i sent him a message through skype he responded from that app it came back as a sim text hey it's just it's a mess and they really need to get to work on that um one thing that's a little curious they can they can update this app through the store. You don't need a new build to, to update the, the messaging app. All right, but they did, and it's good. And these are good improvements. These are improvements that we all wanted. They're listening to feedback. It's good news, all right? So we also have improved download prompts in Edge. So, we, so when you download a file, you're gonna see a download prompt now. Let's download this file here and we'll see that. All right, so now you have, do you want to save? Do you want to cancel? This is something that's typically a, a desktop feature. You don't get this on other platforms. I think it's pretty awesome, All right? So we got a lot of good stuff here. There's, um, they, they had seven things that they said they fixed in this build, which is a little odd considering that this is the first Redstone build, okay? You would think they would uh, save the fixes for Threshold 2, um, the cumulative updates for 105.86. Right, so we fixed an issue where shape writing would ignore every second word when typing into a text box on a website in Microsoft Edge. Um, that's actually good news. A lot of times you would uh, type something and if it doesn't put a space in, if you don't put a space in front of it, it doesn't get the word. Um, so it's good news that they fixed that. After installing the Polish keyboard, typing a word that should be accented now offers the recommended accented word. Okay. We have resolved an issue where you could not hide the navigation bar in Windows Phone 8.1 apps like WhatsApp, Twitter, uh, Weibo, Flickster, and others. All right. uh, we fixed an issue where videos recorded onto SD memory cards would result in a large number of dropped frames. Oh, I, I should probably go back and check my videos because I use an SD card, as do many of us. Because you can do so much with an SD card on a Windows phone. 
All right, there should be an improved app launch reliability and certain crashes that were causing the phone to reboot are also fixed. Now that's good news because if you're like me, you get lots of random reboots if you're using Windows 10 Mobile regularly. Okay, we've polished the live tile animations, improved the logic for refreshing uh, live tiles. So that's good news. Now let's go look at the Microsoft Health app here because that just got a live tile today. So we can take a look at that in the meantime. Uh, we've made reliability improvements for keyboards with large dictionaries such as the Hinglish keyboard. I'm glad that's the example they used. Known issues, visual voicemail notification and delivery is not working in this build causing devices to not receive any new voicemails. You can manually check your voicemail by calling your voicemail to listen to any new messages. You can call your voicemail within the phone app by clicking dot 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 settings, change more settings for phone, call voicemail. This will also leave the voicemail call in your history to make checking voicemail easier. Anyway, guys, that's it for the build. I think it's pretty exciting, mainly because we just haven't seen new features in a while. And these are some really good common sense features that we saw today. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Rich Woods from NeoWin, and have a great night.